out of 10 students, 9 students were unable to provide solution to this question. Can you? Well, show that on the comment section below. The question is, a squared is equal to b plus 73 and b squared is equal to a plus 73. We are required to look for the value of a and the value of b. But take note that a is not equal to b. We can call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Now let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1. So a squared minus b squared, a squared minus b squared is equal to b minus a, b minus a. Now 73 minus 73 is 0, so no need of writing that. Now we're going to be moving what we have on the right hand side to the left hand side. So on the left we have a squared minus b squared. Now when I move negative a to the left, it becomes plus a. When I move b to the left, it becomes minus b equal to zero. Now this is an expression in the form of difference of two squares, which can be written as a minus b times a plus b. Here we have plus, I'm going to be putting this inside of a parenthesis which is a minus b equal to 0. Now notice that a minus b is common, so we can factor out a minus b. Now open a bracket, so this divide by this, we have a plus b, so a plus b plus, now this divide by this is 1. This is equal to 0. So we have two cases from here. We have a minus b to be equal to 0 and we have a plus b plus 1 to be equal to 0. Now solving these cases one after the other, we say case 1. Case 1, we move negative b to the right hand side. So we have a to be equal to b. Now notice that from the given question, a is not equal to B, so we're going to be rejecting this. Now let's focus on our second case. Now I'm going to be moving B and plus 1 to the right hand side. So this becomes A on the left equal to when 1 crosses it becomes negative 1, when B crosses it becomes negative B. So I'm going to be putting this expression in either of this equation. Well, I'll choose equation 1. Here we have a squared, so I'll be substituting this for a, which is negative 1, negative b, that is a squared. This is equal to b plus 73. So b plus 73. So the left hand side can be expanded using this identity x minus y all squared which is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared so expanding this we have negative 1 squared minus 2 times negative 1 times b plus b squared this is equal to b plus 73 negative 1 squared is 1 now negative 2 times negative 1 times b is plus 2b plus b squared is equal to b plus 73. Now let's move what is on the right to the left hand side. Here I'm going to be rearranging. I'll be writing b squared first. So b squared plus 2b. When I move b over it becomes minus b. Here we have plus 1. When I move 73 over, we have negative 73. This is equal to 0. So simplifying, we have b squared. 2b minus b is b. 1 minus 73 is negative 72. So this is equal to 0. 
Now we're going to be using the quadratic formula to solve this. Here we have our a to be 1, our b to be 1, and our c to be negative 72. So we're looking for the value of b. b is equal to, we're using the quadratic formula, which is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now let's substitute here. So b now becomes negative b. b is 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared. That is 1 squared minus 4 times a. a is 1 times c. c is negative 72. Let's extend this a little. All over 2 times a. Now simplifying, we have b to be negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 72 is negative 288 all over 2 times 1 is 2 so this becomes negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 negative times negative is positive 288 all over 2. Now this results to b equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 288 is 289 all over 2. And we know that the square root of 289 is 17. So b is equal to negative 1 plus or minus 17 all over 2. We can decide to separate this now. So b is equal to negative 1. Go with the plus, plus 17 over 2. Or b is equal to negative 1. Now go with the minus, minus 17 all over 2. So for what we have here, b will be negative 1 plus 17 is 16 over 2. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. So that is our value for b here. Now for this second value of b, we have b to be equal to negative 1, negative 17 is negative 18, divided by 2, which gives our second value for b to be negative 9. Now recall our given equation, our original given equation, which is a squared equal to b plus 73 and b squared equal to a plus 73. Now may looking at this question, you see that the equation is symmetric, which means when we interchange the position of a and b, the equation is still going to be the same. So in that case, the value of a and b will be remember we've got the value of b to be 8 as a first case that means the value of a will be negative 9 and if the value of a is 8 b will be negative 9 which means their values are interchangeable and this is our final result now let's verify let's verify now we're going to be putting a value let's test with this first one value of a as negative 9 so this will be negative 9 squared equal to b b will be 8 plus 73 negative 9 squared is 81 this is equal to 8 plus 73 is also 81 so it is very correct well if you want to test it using this other value you can say okay this time a is 8 so this will be 8 squared equal to b b is negative 9 so negative 9 plus 73 8 squared is 61 this is equal to negative 9 plus 73 is actually 61 so it works very well well feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video go ahead and give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos and like i always say until next time take care